Guys, good evening. Bill McMillan here with you on NDWX.com. About 9.30 Thursday evening and wanted to spend just a couple of moments discussing the longer range thinking over the next couple of weeks or three to four weeks out. And we'll start off by taking a look at the teleconnections and really they're favorable for cold uh, through late month. And that's just because obviously the end of uh, the, the models that we're showing you here with respect to the teleconnections only goes through the 25th. I, I will say that there's really no change to our thinking around this transitional period that we're in right now, progressing to one of a uh, more sustained, uh, significant wintry period from late January around the, the 20th or so uh, through most of February. The new European weeklies, which we're not allowed to show you due to licensing issues that came in tonight, uh, would back up that idea. They turn very cold, and that's uh, consistent here over the past few updates as we move into uh, late January and February. But nonetheless, we'll, we'll take a look here at the Arctic Oscillation. Again, uh, negative through the period. The, uh, the PNA, or the Pacific North America pattern, is positive. Again, that's a cold signal uh, for our part of the country. And now for some MJO, or the Madden-Julian Oscillation fun here. Um, I will say when you see the MJO go through this null phase here, the effects are lessened. Um, when it reemerges and potentially into uh, phase four, it's a bit of a milder phase, but we're going to have to keep an eye on this. It quickly would appear to go back into uh, phases five and six, which in January are cold phases. This would be what phase six looks like and um, phase five is chilly as well. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, the JMA weeklies, we posted this this morning. They always update Thursday mornings. Uh, no uh, surprise I return this uh, colder pattern into the eastern portion of the country for week one. Week two becomes a bit more established and, and more widespread. And then weeks three and four, uh, certainly with this blocky look here, would not only suggest that we're going to remain colder than normal, but uh, very, very active and stormy as we move into uh, the late January, early February time frame. The CFSV2, uh, weeks one here on the top, week two, again chilly uh, for the eastern portion of the country. Perhaps the CFSV2 here is seeing some of the effects if we do reemerge into that phase four um, nonetheless, it would appear that uh, any sort of milder uh, conditions during this transitional period will uh, get beaten back, and uh, the CFSV2 shows that cold pattern weeks three and four, again very similar to what we just showed you with the JMA weeklies. Now finally, the GFS ensemble here, as we put this into motion, we've got the transitional period, but as we go through the medium and the longer term, look how this cold really just begins to overwhelm the eastern uh, portion of the country uh, as we get set to progress through the uh, latter part of January. So certainly a lot on the table. Uh, several um, folks who were wondering uh, if and when winter would ever show up are about to have that answer and uh, quite frankly uh, given some of the data it really also appears to be met uh, with a stormy pattern as well, so we would favor the idea of above normal snowfall not only for the month of January, but also the month of February and potentially even into March. No changes overall to our thinking uh, that was uh, issued with respect to the winter outlook. In the shorter term, guys, the, the story is a quiet one. Uh, tonight into Friday morning, uh, most of Friday for that matter, we will begin to kind of notice and observe that uh, you know, that uh, mid and high level cloud deck that will overspread central Indiana during the day Friday, indicative of a, uh, in, in a pending snowstorm. And uh, this will be the first widespread snowstorm of the season, though certainly not going to be the last. I think this pattern is really about to ramp up. But we'll uh, forecast dry conditions on Friday. It'll be a cold day, low uh, to mid 30s, with again increasing clouds. As we progress into uh, the pre-dawn hours on Sunday, we'll stop this around 4 o'clock, the uh, high-resolution NAN that's churning as we speak shows uh, snow spreading into central Indiana, including Indianapolis. And as we continue to progress this, uh, widespread 
a moderate to at times heavy snow engulfs all of central Indiana as we move into the late morning and on into the afternoon hours and uh, periods of moderate to heavy snow can be expected certainly would be uh, wise we think to remain uh, just hunkered inside on Saturday uh, maybe just plan on a on a day to relax and watch the Colts game and uh, sit by the fire but it's going to certainly be a rather uh, long duration event most of the day Saturday into Saturday night will feature uh, a steady snow falling and at times uh, moderate to heavy as as mentioned before we wrap things up this is a look at our first call snowfall forecast a widespread swath of three to six inches across uh, southern and central portions of the state including Indianapolis I'll tell you uh, in addition to this I think if anything as we update uh, things as we progress into tomorrow, uh, the, the potential is there for some banding uh, to develop that may push a few areas north of half a foot uh, with the storm system before things begin to wind down. Uh, guys, that will do it for the longer range update, and uh, we'll keep you posted certainly on the pending snowstorm. Uh, make it a great Thursday evening. Thank you as always for logging on to ndwx.com, and we'll talk with you soon.